statement at this time. Is that correct? Um, I don't. Uh, Is that I don't, what you said? No, it was just the fact that she had amended her previous statement. Okay. Um, with that adjustment, Miss Miss Wilson can confirm though. She just flashed on and off real quick. Uh, I didn't think Miss Odom wanted to make any statements beyond uh, what was written. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Um, Miss Austin, what would you like to say? If anything, you're muted. You have to unmute yourself again. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah. I like to say that, you know. I really apologize to the other woman. It's just that I've been through so much with my son and dad. And uh, sorry, sorry. And I didn't mean it for my actions. It's just when you go through something so much with somebody, and I just really wanted to talk to her, but every time he called her, it was like a, he made it seem like it was a problem between me and her. <laughs> and I deeply just wanted to talk to her and say sorry and tell her, like, this is the type of man that been breaking me down for years. I've been helping my son out by myself for years. He's not there when I'm there by myself with my son all the time. I deeply apologize for my actions because it's not her fault. But it was I, I acted off emotion. That man was hurting me so bad. And for him to call her, and I was just trying to tell her, like, man, this is the man that has been breaking me down for years. I sit at home with our son for years. I came to call him when our son is sick. So I was never trying to really come at her with a feisty attitude or nothing. It's just, it's just my demeanor. I, I come out strong as dynamite, and I wasn't trying to show her no type of hatred. I wasn't trying to be all hateful towards her at all. It was just my son, dad, was in the way each time, each time trying to hurt me and break me down. And it's the worst thing he could do for me because he know uh, my son is all I have. And he know that I'm the only person that take care of my son day and night. And I'm the only one that always be there. I don't have no support out here. My mom's sick. She has cancer. My sister is all the way in Vegas. Would nobody be here to look after him? I even can't get him to call my son dad on his days off because he don't want to get the baby. Ms. Austin. Yes, so you, you're pre you're prepared to do better, right? And complete any. Yes, I am. To do better I've been trying more. to do better. Oh, okay. I just started okay. a new job. I'm trying to do better. I start school in September. I'm trying to do everything better okay. as much as possible, just so I can be a better mom and a better person for, for myself and the other people around me. That's what I'm trying to show. Austin, I think that's okay. I'm trying okay. to keep him away from me as much as possible. I promise, I'm trying to keep him away from me. I swear, I am. I'm trying to do better with my life. I really am, and I'm so sorry that I even attempted that I hated her or even put her in any bad predicament. But I just want her to know my son, dad, was between all that. He the one that did this, all this stuff. Okay, Miss Austin, thank really you. Sorry. I think I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> I am uh, sort of stunned for words right now in terms of what to say, which is rare for me. I feel a sense of sadness for Miss Austin because her self-esteem is so messed up that she's putting herself in this position. But yet at the same time, her self-preservation is so messed up that she can't see that she's the reason this happened. She did this, no one else. And she's just blaming everybody besides self. 
and I'm seriously trying to figure out what I can do for her that would make a difference for her in her life. And there's a child involved. There's so much denial of her own actions. She's telling this court that she intended to just talk to Ms. Odom. You don't talk with your fists. That's not how that works. She's trying to talk, so can you unmute her again? Ma'am, if you keep with the crying the way you were, the, the system can't pick up what you're saying, so you gotta do better. You can you need you can unmute now. What I was saying was, I'm sorry. That day when that happened, I was little, my son dad called her over there and he know I don't supposed to have no contact with her. When she came there, me and my son dad was when she came there, me and my son dad was arguing. My intentions was not to Ms. try Austin? to fight her. Like that. Austin, I, I just want to I just want you to I think you've said everything and I, I think it's connected. I, I don't know if this is my place, but I do just want to flag for one that Miss Odom did say she understands how you feel in the chat. And I, I think for whatever that's worth, I think you've explained it as well as you possibly yeah, can. Um, I, I just wouldn't. I Yeah. And I think you express that. I, I really wouldn't say anything else at this point. I think you've explained it, you know, as, as best as you can. And I think we should. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just want to tell her I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Austin. Yes. I think we're here because of the fact that Ms. Austin has low self-esteem. Because if this person eight years is a lot of time, especially for someone who's young, we all accept that it's true. But this person is cheating, as she say, and she feels the way she feels and she feels pain. Lashing out at someone else is not the way to do that. And I'm not talking about what happened on May 9th. I'm talking about the original offense in this case. This is a tough situation when um, the victim of this um, does not really want to see her in jail. But the reality is that, at least for not in the extended period of time, I should say, I did hear the change. But the reality is that Miss Austin just doesn't get it. She doesn't truly get it. We have been through as, let me rephrase that. Many of us in life have gone through a lot of situations where men have done us wrong or our significant others have done us wrong, but we don't end up fighting the individual. We certainly don't end up going out to a car when we know that we are on probation or bond or whatever that may be and the court's orders are that there are no contact. Emotionally, this individual has her so tied up that she does not have the ability to separate her actions from her emotions, and she's out of control. I'm going to follow the recommendation of the probation department for the most part. You're on probation for 24 months. Fines and court costs in this case were $525. Restitution for $47.40. $30 per month for probation oversight fee. 
meet with probation when and where directed, including any and all home visits, make earnest efforts to maintain legitimate employment, nor sought to her threatening behavior towards Ms. Odom or anyone else, complete the community corrections anger management program, no contact with Alan A. Odom, do not go to her residence, place of employment, do not um, I mean, submit to pay and be responsible for any random drug and alcohol tests as ordered by the court. Do not use any alcohol, marijuana, illegal drugs, or drug paraphernalia. No firearms, firearm components, ammunition, or dangerous weapon, and no being present with anyone using those. In addition to that, ma'am, you need to get your GED or diploma. You need to do one or the other. With respect to the jail sentence in this case, this is what I'm going to do. You are uh, to serve 365 days in the Washtenaw County Jail. With respect to that, 15 days are to be served immediately. You can let me know whether you need to get your son to your um, sister in uh, Las Vegas or not. And I can give you time to do that. The balance of that time will be suspended. Does she need time to get her son to Vegas? Your Honor, I apologize. My Zoom cut out right as you were saying. What did you, what did you sentence the, the 30 days? 15 days. 15, okay. Miss Austin, you'll need, will you need time to arrange that with your sister? Yeah, I do. Okay, how much do you think a week would be oh, enough? How old, is, how old is her son? My son He's is five. Is he in school? Yes. What school it's is he? What school is he in? Uh, Ernie Lane. When do they let out this year? I don't know. June 6th. Six. June six. Okay. Would it be possible to suspend past that date? Yeah, I will give her time to let him finish his school. <laughs> Thank Your Honor, you. Your Honor, may I make one request? <laughs> um, I'm going to ask if the court will require um, or order at this point, at least a referral to the peacemaking court um, court circles program. And I'm asking that because given the continued correspondence we have received from Ms. Odom, I think it would be beneficial for both of these parties to engage in that. However, um, I think the no contact order should, should remain as is. And if Ms. Odom at the time that she is able to review what that entails agrees to that, that the contact be restricted to their participation in that peacemaking program, um, um, and and all other restrictions should remain in place. Can I see counsel in the breakout room along with probation if she's still here? All right, we're back in the on the record on the Natasha Austin matter. Um, no one needs to place their appearances back on the record at this time. I've had a chance to speak with um, the prosecutor regarding her request for the program. I'm gonna do two things, um, add two things I didn't say at the time, three things. Is Ms. Austin still here? Yes. I'm gonna add the deferred sentence. Uh, this is under the prosecutor's deferred. So if she does what she's supposed to do, she can still have this not be a part of her record. So that will occur. And um, she can be allowed to June 10th to turn herself in at the jail before 8 a.m. And, um, with respect to the circles program after she completes. Well, what I'm gonna do is um, have the probation communicate with the uh, anger management program and let them know that we would like to do this if the parties agree. Um, but that we will do that once the circles program director or facilitator believes that it is uh, Miss Austin would be ready for such a program. And um, ma'am, I certainly hope that you stay away from this individual who is the father of your child. You should probably set up an arrangement where you do that um, visitation through a third party. I mean, I know you're saying you don't have anyone else to take care of your child, but the father of the child is also here present in the state of Michigan. 
Ms. Saxon should reach out to probation tomorrow after nine o'clock to schedule an appointment to go over her contract. And I mean this sincerely. I wish her nothing but the best. She should probably also get some type of counseling so that she can increase her self-esteem. And I know Ms. Odom is not part of this case, but she should probably consider that too. So this is a lot. And that is the end of our docket for today. Thank you all. Hi, everyone.